Lesson 26, writing the equation of a line. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome to course two. I think it's course three. Well, I don't know. Okay. So we have different forms of equations of lines. One's called the slope intercept form. The best. The best one according to me. Spencer. <laughs> Just me. And that is y equals mx plus b. y and x are your variables. m will be the slope. And b is the y-intercept. Then we have the standard form of a line. Or of a linear. Let's call it a linear equation. That's probably what I should have been saying. We have AX plus BY equals C. A, B, and C are real numbers. Or, I mean, integers, sorry. They're integers. That's important. So we don't want fractions there. So we can't have fractions there? No, you can't. We've got to make them integers. If there's a fraction there, then just multiply all the numbers by the denominator. Oh, yeah. To get rid of it, okay? So still the same thing. Integers. Let's underline that twice. There we go. Twice. 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 For double Why x's. Not three times. Now we have it's you not could bad do. Point. How yeah. It's not bad. <laughs> point slope form. And that is y minus y sub one oh, equals m parentheses x minus x sub one. X and Y <coughs> are your variables. M is the slope, and X sub 1, Y sub 1 is a point on the line. What's just X and Y? Those are your variables. So you leave X and Y in the equation when you're plugging in the slope and the point. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like up here. When you're writing it in slope intercept, the y and the x are your variables. They stay. Y and x. Same with here. The y and x stay. They're not. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Netta? So if we were to use point slope form, it would be y minus, like say the point was 1, 2. Okay. So y minus 2 equals m x minus 1. Yes. Yes, and you would need the slope. So either they're going to give you the slope, or they'll give you two points, and you can find the slope. So like so it can be like one half or something? Yeah. Or something. Yep. Yep. So you plug in numbers for the x sub 1, y sub 1, and the slope. Okay. Okay. So the equation to find the slope is y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over... Okay, you already know this because you have to find slope multiple all the time. It's true. Okay. I know. So x sub 2 minus x sub 1. And that is where x sub 1, y sub 1, and x sub 2, y sub 2 are points on the line. So if you're given, if you're given two points, basically just use the point slope formula. Oh, wait. I meant form. Oh, well. Um, unless they specifically say write it in a different form because um, it's a lot easier. You just have to find the slope. Pick one of the points. So like if I pick one point and Zach picks a different point, Maybe. they're still the same equation. Maybe. It's okay. It's still correct. So when you're using point slope, you just pick one of the points to plug in there. Zach, you know your favorite It's true. Okay. I'm on all the videos with the phone research. <laughs> 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 yeah, we can hear you talking right now, Zach. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we're going to use the point slope form. And that's the end of the lesson. Practice.